There's a parasite that can infect nearly all warm-blooded mammals, including humans, and it's a master at mind control. Mice infected by Toxoplasma lose their fear and march right into the mouths of cats. Lots of other animals lose their fear of predators when infected too. When wolves are infected though, there's been a surprising side effect. It improves their chances of becoming the leaders of their pack. Toxoplasma gondii is a single-celled parasite that causes serious problems for their hosts. It has one main goal, find its way to a feline to reproduce. Whether it's in a house cat, a cougar, a jaguar, or a lion, Toxoplasma will use its body to replicate and spread through its feces. It has a very weird way of finding these cats. It'll infect a prey animal and reduce its fear of the predator cats. Chimpanzees will lose their aversion to jaguar urine. Mice won't run away from house cats. Baby hyenas will approach lions more closely. This, of course, has devastating consequences for these animals as they fall victim to feline predation. It doesn't just work by making prey less fearful of predator cats, though. It usually makes them less fearful of everything. The brain cysts that Toxoplasma creates increases dopamine and testosterone, increasing the prey's boldness and drive for exploration. In most animals, this can mean certain death. However, this effect might actually be helping gray wolves instead. For wolves, becoming bolder is an asset. They can assume higher ranks in pack leadership and are more likely to move to new habitats both of which increase their opportunities to reproduce. The idea of wolf pack alphas is kind of a myth. Kira Cassidy, one of the authors of the new study and a researcher at Yellowstone explained, the wolves generally in those dominant positions are not there because they fought for it. It's not some battle to get to the top position. They're just the oldest or the parents, or in the case of same-sex siblings, it's a matter of personality. Since 1995, researchers have been using radio collars on wolves in Yellowstone National Park to track their movement. During this process, they also collected a blood sample from the anesthetized wolves. By testing these blood samples against location and behavioral records, the researchers were able to uncover some interesting patterns. As expected, the wolves were more likely to be infected with toxoplasma if they had territorial overlap with cougars. They're likely contracting the parasite directly from cougars or from the oocytes that cougars shed in their feces. Infected wolves are more likely to take risks like finding new habitats and become pack leaders. They were found to be 11% more likely to disperse from their home habitat than uninfected wolves. They were also found to be 46% more likely to become pack leaders. Their fearless behavior might even inspire the uninfected in their pack to become bolder, putting them at a higher risk of infection. We got that result and we just open mouth stared at each other, said study author Connor Meyer. This is way bigger than we thought it would be. While being infected by Toxoplasma can benefit the wolves, boldness does come at a cost. Moving from their home habitat could push wolves outside of the park boundaries where they can be hunted. The parasite itself poses a health risk too. In particular, it can cause severe complications in pregnancy. All in all, it's probably the case that the risk of infection is still much greater than the reward. It's hard to test complex behavioral impacts of parasites like this in the wild. As wildlife disease ecologist Megan Kraft said, what's cool about this study is that it leverages a fabulous long-term study to be able to tease apart these subtle impacts of infection and behavior. So what do you think about Toxoplasma? It's super cool that this dangerous parasite has this unexpected benefit to wolves. Who knows, maybe that's the key to becoming an alpha male. Get a parasite. Just don't blame us if you develop a weird affinity for cats instead.